Hey, Chavah, what's going on? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf um, Ayin, Daf 70 of Masech Ervin. Can you imagine? We've done 70 pages of Masech Ervin. That's nuts. Um, yeah, we can like almost like see the end, you know? 35 pages left. What's 35 pages? Oh my goodness gracious. Okie dokie. Well, we shouldn't get, uh, we shouldn't rest on our loyals yet. Ervin can, uh, if, you, if, you, if you lose your uh, guard, it'll get you. Today is an interesting daf in a certain sense. Um, you got you to like, it's kind of pretty technical. It's not insanely difficult, but it, there's just like a lot of technical details. Um, but not too bad. Uh, so it starts out talking about being mevato yurushus. Do you have to be mevato yurushus to everybody in the chutz or, or is just can you just be mevato yurushus to one person who participated in the Erev? That's the question we're going to start out with. And then we're going to talk about inherit, you know, people who in- inherit other people. Could they be, be mavata the Rishos? Kedu, if some, somebody passes away on Shabbos, can their uh, inheritors be mavata the Rishos to the other people in the Chatzor that they can carry? Chabra, daf ayinam ralf, top line of the page, ve'ein not lim Rishos. So we said that, um, what did we say? The Mishnah said that shnayim, um, where is it? She knows I'm sure not sure. She's not even knows I'm sure she's not even sure. I don't know. What are we even talking about? Not new low issues on who motivated us to an are you shnaim osin zelze. She echad. Here we go. That, that's what I'm looking for. She echad no say rishos vinota rishos. That one person can be mevato and he can also accept other people's betos. Shnaim no sin rishos ve ain not lim rishos. That two people, they can be mevato their chatzar to somebody else, but you can't be mevato your chatzar to two people because they, um, didn't make an error before Shabbos. And, and then they're gonna be, uh, both having use to this chatzar and that won't work. So, Lamali, how come the Mishnah had to tell us is like, we, we kind of like know that already at, at this point. You know, at this point, we already know that you can't be Mavato Yerushos to two people. You have to Mavato Yerushos either to one person or to people who made an error, but not just to two people who didn't make an error. So, Tzricha, we need it. So, so, lo Tzricha, Afalgav, the Amri Le, Kni Amnas Lehakno. So, even though, let's say you have five people in a Chatzar, okay? And then three of them decide that they're going to be Mavato the Rishus to Ruven and Shimon. So even though they told Ruven, now we're going to be Mavato the Rishus to you, but, uh, but, 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 but under the condition that uh, you're going to be Mavato it to uh, Shimon. So at the end of the day, really Shimon's going to be the only one with control. Even so, that wouldn't work. You have to be Mavato just to either one person or to a group who already made an error before Shabbos. But Amine Abai Meirabah. Abai asked Akasha from his Rebbe Rabba. Chamisha Shashruin B'chatzer Achas. If you have five people in one Chatzer, okay, so you have a Chatzer and there are five houses in the Chatzer. V'shachach Echod Me'en V'lo Erev. Now, one of the people who lives in the Chatzer forgot and didn't join in the Erev. So he basically messes it up for everybody. Kishu Mivatul Rishuso, Tzarech Levatul Chol Echod V'echod Olo. So the kasha that Abai asked Rabbah is, so now when this person who forgot to join in the Erev, he, he's going to be mevatel his rishus, he's going to mevatel the rights that he has to the Chatzar so that everybody else will be able to carry from their houses into the Chatzar. Um, so when he's mevatel his rishus, does he have to go to all the four houses and individually be mevatel um, his rights to the Chatzar to each one individually? Or is it enough that he can be mevatel his rishus, his rights to the Chatzar to just one of the other people in the uh, Chatzar. And in Mela, since everybody else had already joined together, so by being Mavato is Rishos to one of them, is Kilo being Mavato Rishos to the whole conglomerate. That is Abaye's question. Omar Lei, Rabbi answered Abaye, Tzarech Levato L'chol Echad V'Echad. Rabbi's answer was that he would have to be Mavato is Rishos to every single person in the Chatzar. Okay. Eisve. Abaye, however, asks a question against Rabbah. Echad shelo Erev. So if you have a fellow who did not... Okay, so this is going to be kind of a long brysa with lots of different cases. And that's what I was saying. It's like a little technical. You just have to like... I, there, there aren't really too many chidushim over here. I think we've pretty much seen everything already. So like you just have to uh, keep in mind like... What 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 are the what are the variables that we're talking about here? Who made an Arab? Who didn't make an Arab? Uh, it, it, there's nothing really too difficult over here. So echad shelo Arab. 
No sin reshuso leechad she'eriv. So if you have so so for now, let's drop the concept of five people in the erev. Let let's assume that for now, for the most part, that we're talking about three people in a chutzer. Okay. So so Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. Shimon and Levi made an erev together. Reuven didn't join the erev, whether he forgot or whatever it might be. Now, um, so echad shelo erev. So Reuven, Reuven didn't make an erev. No sin rishus ol echad she erev. So he can be mavatol's rishus to one of the people who made an erev. It's going to be machlokes between Rabbah and, and Abayi. Let's assume for now that what it means is that he can be mavatol's rishus to Shimon. Now Shimon was part of the erev, so that would be enough. Uh, and now uh, Shimon and Levi can carry in the chotzer. Shnayim she erevu knows the rishus and the echad shelo erev. Shimon and Levi, who had made an erev, if for whatever reason they want to, they could be mavatol their rights to the chotzer to Reuven, and then Reuven can carry in and out of his own house. Vishnaim Shelo Ervu. Um, so now if we're talking about Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda, Levi and Yehuda made an Erev, Reuven and Shimon did not. So Vishnaim Shelo Ervu, Reuven and Shimon, Nosnin Rishusa and the Shnaim Shervu. So they could be Mavatal their Rishus, Reuven and Shimon who didn't join in the Erev, they could be Mavatal their rights to the Chatzar to Shimon and Le- to Levi and Yehuda who made an Erev. Fine. Oh, Le Echad Shelo Erev. Or, um, back to our original case of three people, right? If we have Reuven, Shimon, and Levi, and nobody made an Erev. So Shimon and Levi can decide, you know what, we're going to be Mavatul Arashus to Reuven, and at least Reuven can carry in and out of his own Chatzar. Aval, Ein Echad She'erev, No Sein Rishuso Le'echad Shelo Erev, but, One, Right? Ein Echad She'erev, Somebody who made an Erev. So let's say, uh, Shimon, Right, so, that, so let's just assume for now that we have Shimon and Levi made an Erev, Reuven did not. So Shimon can't decide, right, in Echad She'erev, somebody who joined in an Erev, right, um, he can't no sin Rishus or Echad Shelo Erev. Shimon can't decide that he's going to be Mavato's Rishus to Reuven who didn't make any Erev. The in Shnaim She'ervu, no sin Rishus on the Shnaim Shelo Ervu. And if we have Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda, Levi and Yehuda made an Erev, Reuven and Shimon didn't. So Levi and Yehuda who made an Erev cannot be Mavatul the Rishos to Reuven and Shimon who did not make an Erev. Because then they're going to be, you know, splitting it between the two and they didn't make an Erev, so therefore they won't be able to carry. The Ein Shnaim Shelo Ervu knows the Rishos and the Shnaim Shelo Ervu. And if Reuven, Shimon, Levi and Yehuda, nobody made an Erev, well then um, Reuven and Shimon can't decide that we're going to be Mavatul the Rishos to um, Levi and Yehuda. Levi and Yehuda didn't make an Erev. They can't split it. Fine. So, so that's the Brisa. Okay. A lot of different cases, but nothing too difficult. Here is Abai's question. Remember, Abai asked Rabba, when somebody's Mavato is Rishos and Lechashot, does he have to be Mavato to everybody or just to one of the people who joined in the Erev? Rabba said he has to be Mavato to everybody. Um, Abai is now a- asking a question on Rabba from here. And here's his question. If I can only find it. Wait, seriously, where the heck am I? Here I am. Katani Mias. <clears throat> we taught in this Bryce. So what was the first thing that we said? Reisha. We said in the Reisha. We said in the first part, Echad Shelo Erev, that Reuven, right, in our initial case, it was Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. Shimon and Levi made an Erev. Reuven didn't. We said, Echad Shelo Erev, Reuven, no sin Rishus, so Echad She Erev. He could be Mevatos Rishus to one of the people who made an Erev. So let's say Shimon. Shimon and Levi made an Erev. Kim Mavato is Rishus to Shimon. Hey, Chidami. Now what are we talking about? Ideleka Achrina Bahade. Now, <clears throat> if there's nobody with Shimon, i.e. there is no Levi, there's just Reuven and Shimon, well then, Bahade man Erev. Well then, who did Shimon make, a, make an Erev with? You know, by definition, an Erev is joining together more than one person. So, by definition, if Reuven is being Mavatal, his Rishus to Shimon, and Shimon made an Erev, he must have made an Erev with somebody else. So, so obviously, Shimon is together with Levi. Vikatani, and what's it saying? That Reuven can be Mavatal, his Rishus to Shimon. He doesn't have to be Mavatal, his Rishus to Shimon and Levi. It says that one person who didn't make a Rishus, uh, 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 um, an Erev, can be Mavato's Rishus to one person who did make an Erev, i.e., one person who made an Erev with somebody else. So Reuven can be Mavato's Rishus to Shimon, 
he doesn't also have to be Mavatel as Rishos to Levi. That is Abayi's Kasha. Rabba, Rabba answers, Hachab Mayaskinon, Tehava Vamis. Rabba says that the Ukimta is that we're talking about a situation where, um, Ruve, where, where Shimon and Levi made an Erev together, but on Shabbos, Levi died. And therefore, at the time, now that Reuven is being Mavatel as Rishos to Shimon, Levi's already dead. And that's why Reuven is being Mavatel as Rishos to Shimon. But, um, if Levi was still alive, certainly, says Rabbah, Reuven would have to be Mavatel as Rishos to Shimon and Levi. But then the Gemara asks, Idahav of a miss, if we're talking about where Levi was alive when they made the Arab and then he died. Ema Seifa. Abai says, I'll ask you a kasha from the end of that, Bryce. So what do we say at the end? Aval ein echad she'erev no tel reshuso, no sein reshuso le'echad shelo erev. One person who made, who was part of the Arab cannot be mavatos reshus to one person who wasn't part of the Arab. And the assumption is, meaning that if Shimon and Levi made an Arab together, Shimon can't turn around and be Mavatal is Rishos and Lechatzer to Reuven who didn't join in the Erev. Because now, basically Reuven and Levi now have Rishos in the um, Chatzar. And um, that won't work. They won't be able to carry. So V'i the have of a miss and Abai's question is, hey, um, Rabbah, if we're talking about a situation where Levi was alive at the beginning of Shabbos and then he died, then why would Shimon be unable to be Mavato Zushus to Reuven? Who cares? Levi's dead. It's just Reuven and Shimon in the Chatzar. Why shouldn't Shimon be able to be Mavato Zushus to Reuven if he wants to? So, Elapshita de Isai. Rather, it must be that Levi is alive. And that's why Shimon cannot be in Mavato's Rishus to Reuven since there's still going to be two people in the Chatzar and Reuven didn't join in the Erev. And therefore, if um, we're saying that in the Seifa, that when Shimon, we're saying Shimon cannot be Mavato's Rishus to Reuven, it's talking about where Levi's alive. So in the first part, it must be also talking about where Levi is alive. And, there, and therefore, it says Abaye, when we're saying that Reuven can be Mavatel as Rishos to Shimon, it's talking about only to Shimon, and he doesn't have to be also Mavatel as Rishos to Levi. It's enough just to be Mavatel as Rishos to Shimon, and you know that, and, and 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 that would be enough since Shimon and Levi, after all, already joined together. To which Rabba responds. Abaye, don't just assume that because the Seifa is talking about where Levi is alive, the ratio must also be talking about where Levi is alive. Midi iria, does it make any difference? Haka di isa, vaka di isa. The ratio is one thing and the Seifa is something else. In the ratio, Levi is not alive. In the Seifa, uh, Levi is alive. Teda, and you should know that this is the case. The Katani Seifa, the ratio, that one of the later cases in the first part of this Brisa said, Mishnayim shelo ervu, that if you have two fellows who didn't make an eruv, nosnin rishus on lishnayim she ervu. So if you have Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda, and Levi and Yehuda made an eruv, so we said that Reuven and Shimon who didn't make an eruv would be allowed to be mavatel their rishus to Levi and Yehuda who did make an eruv. Lishnayim in leechad lo. And Rabbi is saying, you see, we're saying that Reuven and Shimon have to be Mavato the Rishus to both Levi and Yudah, right? It says that two people who didn't make an Erev can be Mavato to two people who made an Erev, i.e. to both of them. Right? The Shnaim in Le'echad Lo. To two of them, they would have to be, they would have to be Mavato to both of them, not just to one. Ve'abaye. Abaye responds. My Le'bez, Le'echad Mi'bez. What does it mean that Reuven and Shimon have to be Mavato their um, Rishos to Levi and Yu- they don't have to, but they can be Mavato to the Rishos to Levi and Yehuda. It means to Levi or Yehuda, meaning they don't have to be Mavato to both of them, they just have to be Mavato to one of these two people. But meaning Levi and Yehuda had come together to make an Arab, and Reuben and Shimon can be Mavato to the Rishos to them. But Lemaisa, 
It just means that they're going to be about to one of them. Ihachi, to which Rabbah says, if that's the case, then let's need le'echad she'erev, or le'echad shelo erev. Rabbah says, if that's the case, meaning the, the, um, Bryce had said that two people who didn't make an Erev can be Mavato, they were just either to two people who did make an Erev or to one person who didn't make an Erev. But Rabba responds to Abai that if it's true that really Reuben and Shimon would only have to be Mavato to either Levi or Yehuda, well then why say that two people who didn't make an Erev are Mavato, they're Rishos to two people who made an Erev, say to one person who made an Erev or to one person who didn't make an Erev as the Brysa continues. Kasha, so it's a kasha on Abaye who says that you would have to be Mavato, that if they want to be Mavato, they would only have to be Mavato to one of them. Rabba says that the Mashmaus of the Bray says that they would have to be Mavato, there was just to both of them. Okay, that's Machlokas between Rabba and Abaye. Alright, Chavah, let's move on. Gufa, we said earlier, Echot Shelo Erev, no sin Rishuso, Lechot She Erev. So basically, we're going to go through this brisa, right? We had all these cases in the brisa. We're going to go through each one and explain why it was necessary. What, 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 what's the significance of each case? So echad shelo erev, no sin rishuso lechad she erev. So we said that Reuven could be mavatos rishus to Shimon. Labaye de ise. So according to Abaye, it's talking about where Levi is alive. And it teaches us that Reuven doesn't have to be mavatos rishus to everybody. It's enough just to be mivato zushos to Shimon. The Rabbah, the have of a miss. According to Rabbah, it's talking about where Levi was alive when Shabbos began, but then he di- died, and that's why Reuven only asked me mivato zushos to Shimon. Vilogazrinon zimnin deise, and we're not concerned that well in the cases where Sh- Levi is alive, then Reuven might end up only being mivato zushos to Shimon. Um, no, it's okay, and therefore even when Levi's dead. Le, uh, Reuven can be mevato his rishos just to Shimon. Vishnayim she'erevu nos nem rishusim le'echad shlo erev. Okay, we said that two people who made an erev, i.e., let's call them Shimon and Levi, they can be mevato their rishos to Reuven who didn't make an erev. Pshita, obviously. Well, ma'udetema kevin de lo erev li kanse. Interesting. So I may have thought to say, well, since Reuven didn't make an Erev, let's fine him and not allow Shimon and Levi to be Mavata the Rishos to Reuven because he didn't join the Erev. Kamash Malan, that no, we don't find Reuven. And uh, if Shimon and Levi want to be Mavata the Rishos to Reuven, let them do it. Uvez Shelo Ervu. Knows the Rishos and the Shnaim She Ervu. So if we have Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda, and Levi and Yehuda made an Erev, so Reuven and Shimon can be mevatel their rishus to Levi and Yehuda. So the Raba Tana Sefer the Galuye Aresha. So according to Raba, this is his knockout punch. This is his proof. According to Raba, this is where we see that Reuven and Shimon dafka have to be mevatel their rishus to both Levi and Yehuda, not just to Levi. Le'Abaye, according to Abaye, says no, it's Levi or Yehuda. Bez shelo ervu, it's trichale. The chiddush is about the two people who didn't make an eruv because sagadaite chamina. I may have thought to say ligzar that they should not be able to be mivato their rishos because dilma asi the vatule lehu because maybe then um, uh, Levi and Yehuda might then be mivato their rishos to Reuven and Shimon, which would not be allowed because Reuven and Shimon didn't make an Erev, Kamash Mulan, that it's okay. Reuven and Shimon can be Mavata the Rishos to Levi and Yehuda who made an Erev. We're not concerned that Levi and Yehuda are going to be Mavata the Rishos to Reuven and Shimon who didn't make an Erev. O Le'echad Shelo Erev or um, Reuven and Shimon No, yeah, exactly. Reuven and Shimon who did not make an Erev, can also be Mavatal the Rishus to Levi if Levi didn't make an Erev. I.e., if we have a Chatzah where nobody made an Erev, two of the Chavra could be Mavatal the Rishus to one of them. La Mali, what's the Chiddush here? Well, Ma'u the Tame, and this is very interesting, Chavra. I may have thought to say, Hanimile, Hecha the Mektasan Erev, Mektasan Lo Erev. I may have thought to say that where can you be Mavatal Rishus? When some people made an Erev and some people didn't. Aval Hecha the Chulan Lo Erev. But in a case where nobody in the Chatzor made an Erev, Likansinu, we should find them. Kidei shelo tishtakach toras Erev, Kamash Malan. So that, so that people don't forget about, 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 about the halachas of Erev, Kamash Malan, that even when nobody made an Erev in the Chatzor, they could still be Mavat to the Rishos. It's so interesting, this is the second time we saw it on this daf, that there's like a half minute to say that we should find people for not making an Erev. 
right? And we say it because we don't want over here. We just said that because if people don't make an eruv, then 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 they might forget about about the Allah of eruvin, which is so funny because I feel like in our experience it's the exact opposite. We're so used to growing up in places with an eruv that we don't even doesn't really enter our, our mind that on Shabbos we can't carry. We're so used to just the eruv always being up. Whereas like the Afka, the people who don't have eruvs, right? They're the people who feel it every single Shabbos, and it's like. Darn it, I really wish I had an Erev, or I don't know, I never really didn't have an Erev, so like I don't even know what that's like, but I, I imagine that, you know, they're, they're like making special kind of belts so that they can carry their keys and tie clips and, or maybe finding hiding spots. I mean, like, like when, when you know I'm an Erev, that's like when you really, rem, you know, remember like, wow, Erevs are awesome. When, when you have the Erev all the time, that's Dafka when you forget about it. It's very interesting, Lemaise. We said that, but if we have Shimon and Levi who made an Erev, Shimon can't just decide that he's going to be Mavato's or Shus to Reuven who didn't make an Erev. So according to Abaye, this is the key, right? This is how we know that Levi must be alive, right? And that must be talking about where um, Shimon and Levi are, 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 are a group. Right, because we're saying that that Shimon cannot be mivatel is rishos to Reuven. Now, if Levi was dead, why can't he be mivatel is rishos to Reuven? So, so that is um, by his proof that Shimon and Levi are both alive, and therefore in the Rasha, when we're saying that Reuven is being mivatel is rishos to Shimon, it's to, it means that he only has to be mivatel is rishos to Shimon. He doesn't have to be mivatel is rishos to Levi as well. Le Rabba, according to Rabba, who says it's true that in this case Levi is alive, but in the Rasha he's not alive. I did the Tana Reisha Tana Nami Sefer. It's for consistency that it says over here that um, um, somebody who made an Erev cannot be Mavato to somebody who didn't make an Erev because in the Reisha we said somebody who didn't make an Erev uh, can be Mavato uh, to somebody who did not make an Erev. So, 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 no. Somebody who did not make an Erev can be Mavato to somebody who did make an Erev. So for consistency, we also give the inverse. Fine. Ve'en shnaim she'ervu noznin rishusan l'shnaim she'lo ervu. So, Levi and Yehuda, who made an Erev, cannot be Mavata the Rishus to Reuven and Shimon, who did not make an Erev. Hasulamali, why do I need this? Lo Tzricha, Debatil Lechad Minayu Lechabe. It's talking about, well, because even after Levi and Yehuda were Mavata the Rishus to Reuven and Shimon, Reuven then turned around and was Mavata the Rishus to Shimon. So, yeah, I think I got all the names right. Levi and Yehuda, who made an Erev, Mavata the Rishus to Reuven and Shimon. Even then, Reuven then turned around and, and, and was Mavata the Rishus to Shimon. So, at the end of the day, Shimon's the only one with Rishus over here. Nonetheless, it doesn't work. Ma'u detei ma'u thought to say, Lishtri lay, that it should be permitted. Kamash malan, kevin de be'inna de batil, lo havale shayusa be'achat. So we saw this yesterday, right? That since at the time that Shimon and Levi were mevato de Rishus to, to Reuven, no, since at the time that Levi and Yehuda were mevato de Rishus to Reuven and Shimon, um, nobody had complete, no, nobody was able to use the chatzar. So, lo, it's not going to work. Reuven cannot be mevatos or shus to Shimon. Ve'en shnayim shelo ervu and two chevra who did not make an erev nos and rishus and the shnayim shelo ervu. Right, Reuven and if we have Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda, nobody lemaisa made an erev. So then Reuven and Shimon can't just be mevatos the rishus to Levi and Yehuda because nobody made an erev. Asulamali, why do I need this? Lo tzricha tamir kniyam menas laaknos. Because it's like the case in the at the very beginning of t- today's Gemara that you know even if Levi and Yehuda uh, were mavatel or shush to Reuven and Shimon on the condition that Reuven was going to be mavatel or shush to Shimon, still it won't work. Fine. But Amine Rava me Rav Nachman no. So Rava asks Akasha from Rav Nachman. Yorish Maushi mavatel or shush. Can a Yorish be mavatel or shush? So let's say you have um you know Reuven, Shimon, and Levi in a chotzer. Very beautiful. I'm sure they all get along very good. Now, Ruvain dies. Okay. Now, here's the thing. It's very inconvenient for Shimon and Levi that Ruvain died because when Ruvain dies, his children now get Rishos to the Chatzar. So now, basically, living in the Chatzar are, are Shimon and Levi who made an Eruv, but now there's the kids. The kids didn't make an Eruv, even if... Well, let's just leave it at that. The kids didn't make an Erev. So, can um, these kids be mevatel the Rishos on Shabbos to Shimon and Levi? So, Yechadi Bari Le'aruve Me'esmo Motsi Me'arev Batule Nami Motsi Mevatel. So, do we say that, well, 
I'm going to read that again. That in cases where somebody would want to make an Erev before Shabbos, and he would be able to make an Erev, so he can also be Mavato his uh, Rishus. So for example, if you have a Chatzar that has a bunch of people living in there, and one person forgets to join in the Erev, well, he could have joined the Erev before Shabbos, but he forgot, so he could be Mavatal on Shabbos. Aval Hai, but these Chaver, these children, these inheritors, came in the Ibai La Aruve Me'esmo Lo Ma'ariv, they could not have joined in the Erev before Shabbos because their father was still alive and it wasn't their property. Lo Matzi Mavatal, um, they're, meaning, well, they didn't have rights to the Chatzar, so therefore they cannot be Mavatal on Shabbos. So, sorry, Shimon and Levi. O Dilma, or perhaps, Yorish Kari Davuahu. Or maybe you could say that um, the inheritors are just like an extension of their father. And just like their father could have been Mavato uh, on Shabbos, so they could also be Mavato on Shabbos. So that's the question. Can these inheritors, can they be Mavato Rishos to Shimon and Levi so that Shimon and Levi can um, carry that Shabbos? Omerle, so Rav Nachman responds to Rava, Ani Omer Mevatel, so I say, yeah, it's no problem, the inheritors can be Mevatel, Vani Dvei Shmuel Tanu Ein Mevatel, but in the Bismedjish of Shmuel, for whatever reason, they assumed that you, the inheritors would be unable to be Mevatel. And therefore, Shimon and Levi are stuck, they can't carry, they have to wait till after Shabbos. Eisvei, Rava asks the Kasha and Rav Nachman, Zeklal, this is the rule. Anything that's permissible for part of Shabbos is permissible for all of Shabbos. And anything that is forbidden for part of Shabbos is forbidden for all of Shabbos. Chutz, what's the exception to that? Mimavato Rishos. From somebody who um, um, uh, relinquishes his rights to the Chatzar. Meaning that when Shabbos began, nobody could carry in the Chatzar because... Um, they did, you know, not everybody joined in the Erev. But, on, but the person who didn't join in the Erev could be Mavatal as Rishos on Shabbos and then they can now carry. We don't say that since when Shabbos started, they couldn't carry, they can't carry the entire Shabbos, you can be Mavatal as Rishos. Now, says the Gemara, Kol Shehuto Lemiktsas Shabbos, Mutu Lechol Shabbos. So something that is permitted for part of Shabbos is permitted for all of Shabbos. Kigon, for example, Erev Derech HaPesach, if you have, let's say, two chatseris, one next to the other, and there's a doorway in between, and they make an Erev, so now they can, you know, carry in between. Vinistama Pesach, and somehow the, the door gets blocked. So, you know, some stones fall down, whatever it might be, the door is blocked, and practically speaking, you can't walk through anymore. Nonetheless, um, the Erev remains intact, and they can pass things through windows, from above, whatever it might be. Erev der Chalon, Vinistam Chalon, or if they made a, um, there were like windows between the chatzeris and they, they were four tvachim by four tvachim and they were able to, you know, connect by way of the windows, meaning if they made an Erev, so they could, you know, if, if the window gets closed up, they could still like pass things over. Ze'aklal, this is the rule, la'asuye, when we say ze'aklal, this is the rule. So what's, what's being included by that? La'asuye mavish ne lukorosov l'chayev. Fine. Let's say you have a, um, lechyev. So let's say you have a Mavui, and uh, so when Shabbos started, there was a Korah, or there was a Lechi, whatever it might be. So the, you can carry in the Mavui, meaning assuming that they made a Shetufi Mavos. Now, but then something happened to the Lechi or the Korah, and now there's no longer a Lechi in the Korah. We say it's okay, because uh, when Shabbos began, everything was intact. Kol Shenesu Lemiktas Shabbos, Nesu Lechol Shabbos Kula, something that um, was forbidden for part of Shabbos, it's forbidden for all of Shabbos, Kigon, for example, Shnebatim B'Shnei Tzideh V'Shus HaRabim, for example, when you have two houses on opposite sides of V'Shus HaRabim, Ve'ikifum Nochrim, Mechitza B'Shabbos, and then non-Jews put um, walls around the open parts, uh, uh, you know, between the houses, i.e. enclosing the entire area between the, house, the houses, and now basically they have a Chatzar, so maybe one can be Mavatal to the other, no, they cannot, because since when Shabbos began, um, it was also Zeakla, what are we including? What's included? What's like a, another thing that we are being marbe um, in uh, in this rule? Lasuye mai. What's it coming to include? Lasuye meis nachri b'shabes. Okay, to include a situation where a nachri died on Shabbos, right? So if you have two people, three people in a chutzner, two Jews, one non-Jew, and then the non-Jew dies on Shabbos, can the two Jews be? Can one be mavatal to the other so that he can carry from his house? So um, the answer is no, since when Shabbos began. 
um, they uh, they weren't able to make an Erev. Fine. Vikatani, and we're saying, Chutz mi mevato rishos, the exception being mevato rishos, that if you have three people in a chutz or two people made an error, if one person didn't, so he can be mevato rishos on Shabbos. But we're saying that he can be mevato, but not his yarshin. So, and if it was true that the inheritors could be mevato also, then say, Chutz mi mevato rishos v'gam yarshin. So the Agos Abach says, skip the next few words. So Eimah Chutz Mi Torahs Bitor Rishos. So Rav Nachman says, no, it's no Kasha. I'll say what it means is Chutz Mi Bitor Rishos. It means the Halach is a Bitor Rishos, whether that's the person himself, whether it's his inheritors, whatever it might be. But those Halach is, you know, if you'd be able to Mivat Rishos, and Rav Nachman says that would include inheritors, um, then you they would be Mivat the Rishos even on Shabbos. Um, even inheritors. Eisve. Rav Asakash and Rav Nachman. Echad mi bnei chotzer shemes. Okay, if you have somebody in a chotzer that dies. Okay, so you have Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. They're in the chotzer. Reuven dies. Veniach reshuso leechom and ashuk, and he left his, his his property for after his death. He left his property for some guy from the market, meaning some guy who lives in some other reshus. So miba od yom. If Reuven died before Shabbos. So now this other guy takes ownership of the um, chotzer of, of of Ruvain's house before Shabbos, and he does he's not and he doesn't join in their eruv. Well, then Oser, it's going to be a problem. Not, Shimon and Levi won't be able to carry in the shus because there's this other guy now who has rights in the chotzer and he didn't join in the eruv. Mishecha shecha eno Oser. But if Ruvain died um, once Shabbos began and once the eruv was already kone, well then it's fine. It'll work for the entire Shabbos. And the fact that he died and now some other guy has rights won't mess anything up. Now, what if you have a guy from the um, market, meaning some other guy, but he has a property in the Chatzar? Okay, there's a few houses in the Chatzar. One of them belongs to some absentee homeowner. Now, this absentee homeowner made a stipulation that when he dies, it's going to go to Ruven, i.e., it's going to go to one of the other people in the, in the Chatzar. So let's say there are four houses in the Chatzar. Three of them belong to Ruven, Shimon, and Levi. And then the fourth one belongs to this absentee owner. So this absentee owner says that when he dies, it's, his house is going to go to Reuven. And now he dies. So, he left his um, house to Reuven. So, if he dies before Shabbos, well then, he's not going to create any problems because he died before Shabbos and Reuven and Shimon and Levi were planning to make an Erev together anyway. So when they make an Erev, so it'll include, it will include all of Reuven's property. But if this guy dies on uh, after Shabbos begins, i.e., when Shabbos began, this fellow was not included in the Erev. He lived somewhere else. So um, there was no Erev. And then he dies on Shabbos. Oser. Well, that's going to be a problem they won't be able to carry. But if we're saying that an inheritor is able to be Mavatal or Shus, well, am I? Oser, what's the problem? Livatel. Why don't we just say that Ruvain can be mevato rishos to everybody else. If we're saying that inheritors can be mevato the rishos to the other people in the chutzur. Well, on Shabbos, this guy passed away. Reuven inherited him. Why can't we just say it can be mevato the rishos? Why are we saying it's aser? So my answer is my oser nami digatani achi mevato. When it says that it's aser, it means only until he does the bittel. But once he does, the, yeah, sure, he'll be able to be mevato according to Rav Nachman. That will be fine. Okay. So Rav Nachman manages to answer the kashas against him. Chaver, that was that's where we're going to stop. That was daf uh, ayin. Top 70 of Mesech the Erevin. So yeah, there was, there was a lot of just like detail-oriented things, but I, I'd say the two main sugyas over here are, be, you know, do you have to be mevato your just to everybody in the Chatzar or just one of the people enjoyed in the Erev? Abayi said just one of the people. Rabba said you have to be mevato your just to everybody. Then we talked at the ad, uh, for the second Amud about inheritors being mevato or shus. Rav Nachman says it's no problem. People who inherit can be mevato or shus on Shabbos, whereas they said in the Bismarck of Shmuel that uh, it would not work. That um, inheritors would be unable to be mivatel rishos on Shabbos. Chevra, peace out.